Hi friends, today we are doing Unit 2, Lesson 9, Reptiles. We're going to go over some of the key vocabulary words that you will be hearing in today's reading. Our first word is poisonous, which means full of poison or venom. Our second word is inject, which means to force in fluid like poison, usually by piercing the skin. Our next word is venom. Poison produced by an animal used to harm or kill another animal. And our last word is molt, which means to shed skin. Chapter 11, Reptiles. Hi again, it's Rattenborough. You have already learned a little about today's group of animals. Which are reptiles? You already know that reptiles are cold-blooded animals and vertebrates. But did you know that reptiles live both on land and in water like amphibians? Reptiles have lungs from the time they are born, not gills like amphibians. You may also already know that reptiles lay eggs. Some reptile eggs have soft shells and some have hard shells. They lay their eggs on land. A few snakes hold the eggs inside their bodies until they hatch. Very few rare reptiles do give birth to live young, never making real eggs. Many different groups of animals are classified as reptiles. These, in these include animals such as crocodiles, alligators, turtles, tortoises, snakes, and lizards. Some people may think reptiles, mainly snakes, are scary. Most reptiles will not harm people, but there are some reptiles that you should try to avoid. The black mamba is the best example. This is the longest and most poisonous snake in Africa. It is also the deadliest snake in the world. A mamba injects venom whenever it bites something. A mamba bite can kill any animal, even a human, in less than 20 minutes. Rattlesnakes, copperheads, and water moccasins are types of poisonous snakes found in the United States. Rattlesnakes or rattlers are easy to spot because they have rattles that shake on their tails. You know when there is one nearby because you can hear the rattle shaking. Copperheads have a triangle-shaped head and dark stripes. They are normally less than three feet long. They prefer to live in rocky wooded areas. They only bite humans if they are attacked or startled. Water moccasins live in the water, so they are hard to spot. They have a dangerous bite, but rarely attack humans. If you live in a southern state like Florida, Alabama, Mississippi, or Louisiana, you are more likely to see one. They live in swamps or shallow lakes. You might want to avoid swimming in shallow waters if you live in those states. Some people think snakes are slimy because their skin looks shiny, but most reptiles have thick, dry, scaly skin. Reptiles are known for molting or shedding their skin. Reptiles shed their skin several times during their lives. Snakes, for example, shed their skin in one big piece. They do this when they grow too big for their current skin. The biggest reptile is the saltwater crocodile, which lives mainly in Australia and a few parts of India and Asia. Male saltwater crocodiles can grow to be 20 feet long or more. Attacks on humans are rare. If they do attack a human, it's usually not a happy ending. Crocodiles have the most powerful bite in the entire animal kingdom. Their bites are 10 times stronger than that of a great white shark. Despite their power, when they bite and snap their jaws shut, it is fairly easy to hold a crocodile's mouth closed. They open their mouths using a weak set of muscles. In fact, a third grader may be able to hold a crocodile's jaw shut. Would you like to try? You may now move on to Unit 2, Lesson 9, Google Form.